everybody, Frankie Lovato Jr. here, standing behind one of my equisizers. Um, for some of you I may have known me as a jockey, I rode for 25 years professionally. Uh, creator of the Equisizer and also creator of Jockey World, which is a social network for learning and sharing. Um, but today I wanted to make a video. As you can see behind me is the Garden State Park racetrack uh, flag. And I want to thank Chris Forbes from FemaleJockeys.com. Uh, for bringing or giving me this flag as a gift. He posted on Facebook if he had this flag from Garden State Park if anybody wanted it um, and I, I jumped right at it. I, I, I'm so proud to have this thing. It's hanging in my shop here in Norwalk, Ohio uh, with my other banners. But anyway, um, Garden State Park is, is no longer. It was torn down and built into a shopping center, I believe. Uh, we'll all miss it very dearly. But I, I grew up in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. My dad was a jockey, raced at Garden State Park for years. Then years later, I raced at Garden State Park. Uh, one meet I was there was the 92 winter meet, and um, they did this special on me. It was, it was when I won my 1,000th race, which I was very proud it happened to, to happen there at Garden State Park. So I think you'll really enjoy this video. I, I had it buried in a box, and when I got this flag, I thought, let me see if I could find it. I found it. I uploaded it. I'm going to put it on YouTube. Um, and then after this interview with me, there's also a section behind it, a commercial for Garden State Park. And it just brings back so much sentimental value to, to me and I'm sure a lot of you that will be watching this. So uh, anyway, enjoy this video and thanks for watching. Coming up from Garden State Park, you'll meet Frank Lovato Jr., a jockey whose successes on the track are matched only by his successes in business. Also, we'll talk to Pat Botazzi, one of the leading owners and trainers on the East Coast. Plus, you'll see one of the contenders for this weekend's Tasma Handicap at the Garden. All this and more is next, right here on PRISM. The Thoroughbred is a magnificent animal, bred for speed, bred to compete. Thoroughbred racing is tradition, the sport of kings. Join WIP's Jody McDonald, Dick Girardi of the Daily News, and Bruce Casella as we present Garden State Park Magazine. leads it, but here comes Prem Fresh on the inside. Eddie Maple asks for speed and gets it. Spindabuck has the lead. On the outside, El Bosco closing strongly. Spindabuck wins it by a neck. Hello, racing fans. Welcome to Garden State Park Magazine. I'm Bruce Casella. Big show ahead for you. Got a couple of features. Plus, as always, we have Dick Girardi of the Philadelphia Daily News. And later on, we have Jody McDonald of 610 WIP All Sports Radio. He'll be joining us, and we're going to be talking horses with you. All right, let's go to our very first feature of the night. You know, back in the early 60s, early 70s, there was a jockey here at Garden State Park, a mainstay. His name was Frank Lovato. You may remember him if you're a longtime racing fan. Well, in 1992, we still see Frank Lovato racing around Garden State Park. Yes, it's his son, Frank Lovato, Jr. And our Jim Moylan talked to the man they call Little Frankie. Ever since he was four years old, Frank Lovato Jr. wanted to be a jockey. As a youngster, he watched his father ride many a horse to the winner's circle. Now, as a veteran of 13 years in the saddle, little Frankie has surely made his father proud. In the current meet here at Garden State Park, Frank is the second leading rider with 47 victories, proving that the lessons his dad taught him were well learned. I basically just studied him. I, uh, his mannerisms, his personality, um, his seat on a horse, the way he held his hands, and, and uh, just how he was quiet on a horse, and he was, he was peaceful on it, but yet he got a lot of run out of a horse. Frank began putting his knowledge to work in 1979 when he ran his first race. One year later, he was voted the Eclipse Award as the nation's top apprentice jockey, an honor he still cherishes today. I can remember before way before I even uh, started riding as a jockey professionally, being in a stall with torn jeans and muck up to my knees, saying, how am I ever going to get to the Eclipse Awards from here? And, uh, and when, when I finally did reach it, I can look back now and say, geez, it's, it's remarkable. Or, it was a wonderful thing that, that happened to me, and, and I achieved it, and it's something you can't take away. Along with being a successful jockey, Frank is also a successful businessman. He's the creator of the Equisizer, a mechanical horse that helps jockeys rehabilitate themselves after injuries. 
In fact, it was an injury that Frank suffered himself in 1981 that motivated him to develop this idea. Uh, in 1981, I fractured my left femur and I un underwent surgery. And um, I was through a, a therapy process of, of uh, trying to get some motion fle and flexibility and muscle tone regained back in my leg. And I thought, gee, I really, I really would like to put something together that um, I could pretend or simulate riding and to get me back in shape and also mentally, physically, and every bit uh, get me as close to riding as I could. Since then, Frank's invention has kept him almost as busy as his riding. In fact, the garden's current meet is the first for the 29-year-old in over a year. But there's no doubt that he's happy to be back on the track. Being on top of a horse and, and being an athlete, you would like to think that you can make the difference. And, uh, and being a part of that horse, it's a great feeling. I don't know if, if uh, y you can probably imagine what it's like to win anything, but being on top of, of a thoroughbred and uh, athletically urging this horse to, to victory, there's nothing like that. I can't, I can't describe it. This past week, Frank had an opportunity to experience the thrill of victory for the 1,000th time in his career as he rode out of the rain in Friday's ninth race here at the Garden. They're coming to the quarter pole and spurring out the heat is on. Lovato sets down out in the rain, looking for the lead and 1,000 lifetime. They're into the stretch and spring out's got problems and has lost the lead. And on the outside, out in the rain is grab command with a furlong to go and is striding clear two and a half. Spring out is second, six back to Orlando Motel. But this is going to be a memorable victory for out in the rain and Frank Lovato Jr. It's number 1,000 lifetime. It's just that I was stuck on 999 for a full week, and uh, I rode a, a bunch of live horses and just couldn't get one home. And uh, when I finally won 999, there was a, a, a you know a little more light to the end of the tunnel, and, and uh, it was just a, a big relief. For Garden State Park Magazine, I'm Jim Moylan. Thanks, Jim. When we come back, Vic Girardi will join us. Plus, we're going to take a look at last week's best races from Garden State Park. Don't go away. If the action's fast and exciting, chances are you're already at beautiful Garden State Park in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. There's no other racetrack in the Delaware Valley quite like it. So whether it's one of our Thursday or Friday night cards that get underway at 7.30 or Saturday or Sunday afternoon programs starting at 1 o'clock, the racing thrills are guaranteed. The Garden also is high on style and comfort, has a fabulous gift shop, and sports three elegant top-of-the-line dining rooms that will put you in the winner's circle every time. So come on out to Garden State Park.